people, good morning. Now, or I should say good afternoon here. It's just afternoon and uh, out for a short ride uh, to test a couple of things out. One of which is I'm recording in super view for the first time. Um, I'm going to give it a try and see if I can get uh, a little bit better uh, display uh, and see how bad their distortion is. That's the reason why I never used Superview before. I'm also uh, recording in 1080p 60 frames a second again. Uh, the 2.7K files are kind of big for my computer uh, to, to manage properly when I'm editing. So I decided to step down a little bit again and see uh, how, how the image looks. Also just finished um, putting on a couple of upgrades to this to this bike, uh, the radiator uh, and oil cooler uh, protection from EvoTech and uh, also a couple of other small modifications, well one of them is a pretty significant one for me because it's one that I do to every single bike that I, I buy, it's probably one of the first modifications and that's installing a garage door opener. I'll have a separate video talking about that. Uh, but I installed a garage door opener uh, and the little button is there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, there. And I also installed um, 12 volt power uh, pigtail to the front of the bike so I can charge my cell phone and uh, anything else that I might have. So that's pretty neat. Uh, it's got an SAE connector and I bought an SAE uh, charger, nice little charger, but it seems to be dead on arrival. Uh, when I plugged it in it didn't want to work but I was getting power all the way up to the uh, up to the charger from the leads. So the problem has got to be in the charger itself so I'm going to return that. But uh, I had to take off the seat for the first time, have a look underneath there to, uh, you know, access the battery and connect the pigtail. So all that was done this morning and the uh, garage was getting a little too hot so I ended up finishing up those mods and, ow, bloody hole. And uh, now I'm out for a quick ride. Uh, it's like uh, uh, getting close to 90 degrees now. Um, so I'm not going to be out very long. Let me go in here. Ooh. Oh. Oh, the park isn't closed. I don't think. Why is he stopped? <laughs> anyway. So, um, yeah, I'm coming in here to see how it looks amongst the trees with this super view and 1080p. That's the main reason why I'm coming in here. It's a beautiful park, Burroughs Park, and uh, I like to come here. People like to come here and do their walks and uh, bring their dogs and all of that kind of stuff. And there's a nice pond up front that you can, uh, you can fish in. And uh, I think it's catch and release, but there's a large mouth bass in there, uh, I believe, or some kind of bass or the other. Uh, I've seen people uh, pulling fish out of there, good sized fish. And uh, I don't think I see too many people fishing right now. Uh, oh, there's a guy there. He's fishing in the blue shirt. <laughs> Beautiful park. Not too far from my house. She must be pedaling. This is the dog park on the left. A few cars in there. Yeah, about four or five cars. A nice dog park. 
this is the other end of the uh, of this Burroughs Park where there's a pavilion you can uh, rent the pavilion for group gatherings and stuff this is more popular part of the park because it's close to the playgrounds and stuff so you see more cars here and some more people fishing there nice weeping willows or whatever Spanish moss anyway I don't think they're willow trees there's the pavilion and there's the facilities the toilet so when I go for a ride this is a good place for pit stop and there are some trails in the woods there are some short trails through there and uh, see you can go for a little walk in nature not too long not too strenuous so it's a pretty cool park Alright, let's continue with our ride.